dirty. Oh, we're uh, we're here giving out dirty money. Do you want just you know money to destroy the planet? It's free. Do you want to mm. you launder it for us? It's government money, all free. Do what you want. Some bloke over there is going to be he said loads and loads of plastic he's going to get with this. Yeah. yeah, oil, dirty oil money laundered here for the government today. Mm. A, a majesty yeah. service. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. We're here. There's 63 billion. We are at Parliament Square, directly across the Houses of Parliament, and this is called the Carnival of uh, Corruption. You know, also called Carnival of Chaos, probably, because, um, you know, uh, our politicians aren't really doing much better than the clowns. Yeah. So if you want to know what is going on, you know, it is, uh, it is ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous because uh, what's ridiculous is that uh, we've got 10 years to avert a climate catastrophe, but the UK government is Europe's largest subs subsider of fossil fuels, pouring billions into coal, oil and gas in the UK and abroad and driving the destruction of the planet. Yeah, so, um, you know, often the, the narrative is said that, oh, you know, other countries need to act, you know, that other countries are polluting. But the United Kingdom, we are the financiers, you know. So many of these mines abroad are financed by UK banks and European banks. You know, um, the fossil fuel industry has tried to convince so many people at home that uh, the responsibility is on, on people at home to, to make changes. And yes, you know, there's changes we can do. But remember, there's, uh, there's 100 companies that produce 70% of the pollution. Okay, and these are mostly financed in the UK. So, uh, <laughs> the carnival of corruption is going on right here <laughs> at the Houses of Parliament. No. Yes, police are not corrupt. Well, they try not to be. So here we have more. Carnival of Corruption. And indeed, these aren't the clowns you need to worry about. <laughs> it's the ones right over there. I think the ladies So this is some party politics. They're acting like clowns. No. And then we've got the ringmaster. You know, the bailouts, you know, Boris is bailing out, thank you, Boris is bailing out fo um, fossil fuel industry. While the ice caps are melting and the forests are burning, the very industries that got us into the mess, they are being bailed out. But we say no, we say we want to have a transformation. Are you okay on exit here? Do you need help with interviews at all or anything? So, yeah. No, Zoe said to so, sort of be here to help you, I do a bit of live streaming. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to say something about um, Well, I'm, I'm very happy to, but no, Zoe was just saying if I'm here to help you get interviews and stuff. Yes. So. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you can grab someone, um, well, Gail, if you can. Yeah, I'll go. And, yeah, let's see. I'll go and see if we can see him. Right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, so yeah, so there's some great costumes here, but again, these are not the clowns to worry about. It's the ones just over there. Carnival of corruption. So, as you can see, there's many clowns here today. But again, these are not the clowns to worry about. Hey. <laughs> Carnival of corruption. Bailouts. Who wants a bailout? As long as you're in fossil, you get a bailout. This is not what we want. This is why people are rebelling. 
you look at the climate and ecological emergency bill, it is a pathway for government to do a just transition away from destructive industries, away from extractive and polluting industries towards renewable, sustainable and regenerative. So we need regenerative industries, fit for purpose business, not just business based on profit alone. Yeah, girls have to feel the introduced, they just wait till we start walking and then so once we're walking and we go in then we'll have a Okay, so uh, things are almost about to start, it's going to be a bit of a, a walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right. Hey, free bailout money? Yes, but, but, money but from does the government because I'm already rich so uh, they gave me some money. Yeah. More money, please. Uh, So the clowns are giving up uh, some money as long as you spend it on destroying the planet. Oh, mm. oh yeah, it's bailout money. Yeah, yeah. Because the UK government is Europe's largest subsider of, uh, they give the most amount of subsidies to fossil fuels, pouring billions into coal, oil, and gas. Yeah, yeah huh? What do we say about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to listen to the science and we have the, the client, we have the Climate and Ecological Emergency Bill, which helps the government to enact the processes that are required. So what are we calling for? You know, demand number three. Thank you. So demand number three that we are calling for is a citizens' assembly. You know, the climate and ecological emergency. We demand a citizens' assembly. Who? People from all walks of life, randomly selected, like jury duty, run by independent organisations, free from interference by government, free from interference by corporations or anyone else, including Extinction Rebellion, to navigate and inter investigate the issues in debt, consider evidence and views from all sides, to question and discuss in small groups, to make decisions together about how we move forward. Not a shouty chamber. The Houses of Parliament is a shouty chamber where you have party politics, But instead, with a citizens' assembly, it is representative of the people. It is representative. And the result is it's real democracy and a new direction for the country made by people for the people. So if you go to um, rebellion.earth, act now resources, you can find, or you can email XR Citizens' Assemblies at Proton Mail. But you can also go and look at um, um, citizensassemblies.org. To find out more about the bill, go to cebill.uk. <laughs> Long lying noses. It's going well, it's going well. Okay. <laughs> the clouds think it's all going well. Excuse me. Okay. Are you rich? Oh, not yet. But I do I do I work in the I work in the fossil I work in the fossil fuel industry. Uh, oh yeah! Yay, money for the fossil fuel industry. We're bailing them out. Yay. So this is what the government is doing. They are bailing out the very corporations which got us into the mess. Okay. Uh, Shell and Exxon knew, BP knew, you know, the fossil fuel industry knew already in the 70s and 80s.
And here we have the rebellion. Sound of the rebellion. Yes, the carnival of corruption right over there, but we want it to stop funding climate debt. Stop bailing out the polluters. Tell the truth. Indeed, democracy has been uh, hijacked for many years now through fossil fuel industry, through special interests, through, through big business. And we have to reclaim democracy. We can do that through citizens' assemblies. So uh, we have Gail Bradbrook here, and we are part at the moment in the talk of um, in the procession of the Carnival of Corruption. Do you want to say something to? Giving out bailout money to uh, 
to Ecocidal Corporation. Right in front of the, uh, the treasury because the treasury is making many of these decisions. Obviously, they are influenced sadly by think tanks, as we found out yesterday, that are anonymously funded by the fossil fuel industry. That's at number 55 Tufton Street. Climate deniers that have actively worked against governments. Uh, The path to a better world. Protect children from abuse, stop HS2, save the trees, protect animals. Yes, there's lots of noise. And it's on. Hey, sorry. Calling on a green recovery that does not mean high carbon investment. So, we cannot continue with things like a HS2, Silvertown Tunnel, Super South. So, these are clowns <laughs> giving out fossil fuel subsidies.
So again, this is number one horse guard road. This is the HM Treasury, Her Majesty's Treasury, which is spending billions per year on fossil fuel industry. And now with the, after COVID, the economy has uh, had a big hit, yet the government is giving fossil fuel bailouts. And uh, yeah, they don't, they don't like us telling the truth. You know, did nobody teach you to clean up your mess? So you might remember more than a year ago, there was an action here in front of Her Majesty's Treasury, right over here with the fire truck. And at that action, you can find it on Extinct Rebellion UK page. Go and watch the video. All the details were there. The government has not learned from the lesson now that we need to have an economic recovery or we need to relook at how we bring the re you know people's um, livelihoods back. We are bailing out fossil fuel industry instead of doing a just transition to clean, cleaner, less destructive. So indeed, you know, the politicians aren't listening. That's why, because they want to save face, you know. They don't want to admit that they have been. Yeah, so this is action year right here at the Her Majesty's Treasury, you know, number one horse guard. You know, we have a, a carnival of corruption because there are clowns that are giving bailouts to fossil fuel industry. The same industry that have known about climate change, they've known about um, global warming, they knew, Shell knew, Exxon knew. Their own scientists warned them and told them that they need to walk away, move away from burning fossil fuels or it will cause the warming of the climate through the hothouse effect. Now, the fossil fuel industry just went even more destructive. You know, they started doing um, open mines. Closed mines were already bad, but open mines and tar sands where they just completely destroy whole ecosystems. We do have, we had a pivotal point here where we have the opportunity to go from a green recovery rather than being bailed out, bailing out the fossil fuel industry. Remember, there is no planet B. So, uh, 
uh, those just tuning in, you know, this is a carnival of corruption because the government, we are asking the government to do a citizen's assembly on the climate and ecological emergency. And instead, the government has done nothing since last year. Their own climate and ecological, their, their, their own um, committee on climate change has warned them that out of the, I believe it's 32 um, the 32 milestones that they were supposed to, to achieve just to stay within the 2050 target of keeping greenhouse gases below and, and, and uh, keeping the, the temperature and you know what, I've spoken so much about these things, it is we all know the issues but the government doesn't seem to understand that it can it cannot continue bailing out the fossil fuel industry. It needs to transition and we need to do it through a citizens assembly. So in a typical fashion sadly in the United Kingdom and sometimes as humanity we need to face our mistakes of the past but in the UK often the mistakes just want to be pushed under the carpet so just as this where the police is clearing up just clearing the street instead of uh, instead of arresting the real criminals okay, so we have a rebel over here Not sure what happened there. But yeah, so um, you know, come on down. As you can see these are rebels. We're still standing up. We're still calling on the government to do exactly the same things we did. One act, you know, tell the truth, act now, go carbon zero by 2025, and call a citizens' assembly so that it is a. Uh, dis- a just transition. We found we've seen that the the government that the clowns You're making us unsafe by shutting us along. So again, I sir, I'm just place. recording at the moment. Like on home place, sir, you're in the middle of the highway at the moment. So again, this is Extinction Rebellion. So we're calling on the police to stand with us. Also ask for the government to declare a climate emergency. The government, not just the parliament. It's called a citizen assembly. Why is the government so afraid to let the voices of the public get heard? The government isn't really afraid. It is the fossil fuel industry. It is the the one percent that is funding climate chaos. They are really afraid, but they don't have to be afraid because the thing is, the changes that the citizens will make will be in the benefit of everyone. It will be a cleaner planet. It will be a cleaner environment. Them and their children, those who own fossil fuel companies, will benefit from the changes. This is what's important. You know, some of them think they're really happy with their money. Oh, it's just it's just created. It's fiat currency. Go and read up about what fiat currency is. You know, versus sovereign currency, or money versus currency. We we haven't used money in a long time. We use currency, which can be created. It's called monetary easing. It's a uh, they just type it. Let's have a look. What's happening? Something we cannot adapt to. 
What is this government doing? My pathetic lip service. Pretending to do a green recovery. Three billion pounds has all been invested. It's a tick box exercise. Meanwhile, we tend to get a hundred million on HS2 and do foresting this country faster than World War One. 108 ancient woodlands for aviation shuttle service. To reverse the damage that the government has been doing. Yeah, right, yay! young sister who would like to talk and I really want to honor all the young people in the environmental movement who have been blamed for frightening them. What's frightening is when the government doesn't take action. That's inspiring. The people assert their rights to protest. Because this is what democracy looks like. We have our fantastic Brighton rebels. Who's bringing the Greta Thunberg light boat towards London. The police are saying they're going to arrest her. Our Greta. You can't arrest the young people. The symbols of the young people. Because they know what's happening. I friends every young person. Especially the young women. You trust your intelligence. You trust your intelligence and your intuition. You trust that you know what to do. You believe in what you're doing. The adults will try to make, will make you inferior. You don't know what you're doing. You're not smart enough. You're absolutely perfect. For all the young rebels, XRU, XRU solidarity, Fridays for future. <laughs> looks like because I was turned into dirty world. I am Coraline Hunt. I am Coraline Hunt. And I am here today. Because I don't know what the green world looks like. I am scared. For my own child's future. Is it 
greener, better future. Sometimes I feel. Sometimes I feel. Can move forward to a better future. We were all united. In a fight. Young and old. Hey. in love. Mind check. Spread out. Sit down. Spread out. Sit down. Mind check. Mind check. Robin Hood, yeah. Remember, we act in peace. Huh? Brilliant clowns. Thanks. So much better than the clowns in uh, in Parliament. So you know, yeah, you know, the children are afraid for their future because based on previous. Based on what's happened in the previous two generations in regards to fossil fuel. And we're not blaming the individual people. They have not known. Corporations have consciously and purposefully misguided the public. Corporations of corruption So this is a carnival of corruption. The corruption is happening there at HM Treasury as well as in the banks. So uh, Barclays Bank is one of the biggest funders of fossil fuels. And uh, the Treasury is giving out the bailouts. Bailouts for fossil fuel industry, polluting industries. When we need a green recovery and we need a regenerative recovery. It's not just about making money with green technology. You know, Yes, obviously, you know, there'll be entrepreneurial opportunities available for people, but it's also about returning to nature, returning health to nature. Yes, it's about saving lives. And regenerating. So the Climate and Ecological Emergency Bill talks about regeneration of the soil. Okay? We need to not only plant trees, we need to... There's all kinds of uh, systems like permaculture.
most important is we know we cannot do business as usual. The government is waving bailout. to act now actually all of us we have to act now you know be the change you want to see in the world you know one of the big steps you can do is uh, stop being afraid up climate crisis we need to give ourselves the permission to feel the grief and the love for the earth and for each other less separation the illusion of separation we are the same you know, oil money is blood money remember there is no planet B guys Emergency, do you need explaining, government? Thank you. So well said. And it's a climate emergency. We've known this, we already told this, you know, last year. The government has not done anything. Their own committee on climate change has said that they are absolutely failing. Previously, the, um, the committee on climate change and all kinds of other scientists have shown that at four degrees, you know, we, are, we might be heading for four degrees if we continue with business as usual, if we fund, you know, if we, um, if we bail out the fossil fuel industry, if we bail out aviation. We need to reduce, reuse, recycle, regrow. But it doesn't have to be difficult. It can be beautiful. It doesn't have to be a fight anymore. It doesn't have to be a struggle. We have everything we need. We have all the love in the world to change that which no longer serves us. And we can do it in a just transition with the citizens of safety. Parliament declared a climate emergency last year, last year May, I believe. But they did nothing. It's just business as usual. Then COVID came along, you know, virus, and then the government saw, you know, when, when there's the political will, and to be honest, in this case, because it also affected the rich, the virus was indiscriminate. And we know with climate change and with the global warming, it is first affecting the global south. It is disproportionately affecting. And there's, uh, there's some very wealthy people that think that they can, that everything will just be fine because they can just hire some private firefighters or they can just uh, 
go and buy some land in a place that's currently still got ice. That's not how life works. You need strong communities. Earlier, you guys. So everyone, uh, this is Extinction Rebellion. We're here in London. Just walked uh, in front of um, the Her Majesty's Treasury. You know, where last year would have heard, you know, about the billions of uh, pounds that the UK government is fueling the fossil fuel industry with. Um, no, we can't have that. You know, if we have a citizens' assembly. Citizens' Assembly on the climate and ecological emergency. That's one way how we don't have the lobbying groups and the money interests to confuse the politics. Yeah, go to the website citizensassemblies.org. You can also go to digitalrebellion.uk and on digitalrebellion.uk there's a link to find out about the climate and ecological emergency bill as well as uh, how to get in contact with your MP and uh, ask them to back the bill. Hashtag back the bill. You know, we've been raising the alarm now for more than a year, well two years for some. And the fact that government hasn't acted just shows the system is broken. We need to unfuck the system. You know, we know it just does not work. The UK government, or governments in general, they're not representative of the people. That's where Citizens Assembly comes in. It's crucial. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we are at a pivotal point where we can still we can still make life even more amazing than it is already. And that's by preventing deaths, by preventing further ice, ice, um, ice sheets melting. You know, uh, 2018 I was on top of Kilimanjaro in Kenya, that's, uh, sorry, in uh, Tanzania. And over there, you know, the, there used to be a massive big glacier. The glacier, I believe, is already 75% melted you know all over the world in uh, in Baghdad they had 54 degrees 54 degrees Celsius because remember when we talk about keeping the temperature below 1.5 degrees higher than what it was to, um, before industrialization that is the average okay so if you know what a bell curve is that is the bit in the middle so by average it's only one point we want to keep it below 1.5 but there's on the extreme sides, you have extreme weather and whether it is floods or droughts, you know, we've already seen those manifest. So that's what we're trying to stop. And indeed, we don't just want to be alive, we want to thrive and we can do it. You know, we can make air fresh again. You know, we've got extinction rebellion doctors. So, you need to remember defunding the fossil fuel industry and going into, you know, using green or natural solutions. We're just consuming so much less. It's not only great for the planet, but actually really, really good for us, you know. So it is not a sacrifice, we will be gaining so much. Many of you already during lockdown has experienced what it is more to be a human being rather than a human doing, when many of us found ourselves Maybe with our jobs or without 
activities to do without the constant uh, distraction. If you switch off, if you switch off the news. Fossil fuel bailouts. <laughs> Remember, business as usual is killing us. We cannot go back to business as usual. Most people don't want to go back to business as usual. Yes, we want to have incomes. Yes, we want to have. Um, we want to feel like we're contributing to community, contributing to society by our actions that we do. So again, those just tuning in, this is Extinction Rebellion. This is uh, the Carnival of Corruption. We walk past um, Her Majesty's Treasury. You know, the UK is the number one funder of fossil fuel. You know, this, is, this is the problem. You know, the UK government is Europe's largest subsizer of fossil fuel, pouring billions into coal, oil and gas abroad and in the UK. Make a profit, you can't make a profit when you're dead. You can't accumulate capital, you can't accumulate capital when you're dead. You're dead. You you can't manage your portfolio when you're dead. So you can't manage your portfolio. You can't manage your portfolio. You can't manage your shared portfolios when you're dead. Hey. Fossil fuel bailouts. So we're calling on the government to stop. The government, UK government, must stop funding the destruction of our planet now. Divest, pull out, and do not. Do not bail out the, the industries. Do not bail out the exact industries which got us into this mess. We have a very good opportunity now. We have some flow arts happening over here. I really recommend you learn some poi. It's easy to do. Make yourself some, uh, take yourself some socks. Put other rolled up socks in the middle. You can learn how to do some hooping. Carnival of corruption. But these are not the clowns to be afraid of. These aren't the clowns to be worried of. You don't have to be afraid, but. <laughs> we 
aren't the clowns you need to worry about. Business as usual is killing us. Yeah, keep stopping them. Great. Uh -huh. Carnival of corruption. Planet not profit. Same as I always were. Number one, tell the truth. Two, to act now. Listen to the science. Tell people the science. They can handle it. Dead. No, you can't make the profit. You can't make the profit. You can't make the profit when you're dead.
there's some comments about taxes indeed yes how about we do get the people who don't pay their taxes the companies the international companies uh, we've seen the Panama Papers that came out uh, thanks to Wikipedia, uh, WikiLeaks and Anonymous. We have seen the fossil fuel industries, you know, and think tanks. Even the even even the royal family uh, got caught up in that that scandal, the Panama Papers. It's the tax dog. The same uh, the same companies that are dodging tax also get the bailout at the moment. So uh, we have grandparents, uh, she has dropped off her kid. How are you doing, ma'am? Are you willing to speak to the camera? How are you? So yeah, so we have, uh, we have people from all walks of life over here. Thanks a lot. Uh, most people have taken off their work. Some people quit their jobs to volunteer. That is a fossil fuel subsidies. The United Kingdom is still the number one government in, the, in, uh, in Europe. Here we go. The UK government is Europe's largest subsidy of fossil fuels, pouring billions into coal, oil and gas in the UK and abroad. So often people are saying, oh, you know, how about this company or how about that country? Often the mines and the wells are financed. Financed by UK banks, Barclays Bank, you'll know that there's been a couple of actions at Barclays Bank. Barclays also have a nice track record, not a nice track record. They've always been on, uh, they've often, well, in the past they've been on the wrong side of social issues. You remember? So business as usual is killing us. Okay. So someone just said hippie gathering. So I do recommend everyone watching, viewing to actually get back into nature. Go and find out about conscious communities or Go and find out about living communally. Yeah, I'm gonna actually take off for a bit. I'm a bit tired. Da, da, da. But these are actors that are great. <laughs> the clowns. Uh.
Thanks, Suzanne. Yes, everyone, wake up your rebel, but wake it up with love, ferocious love for this planet and for humanity. Um, uh, so we are looking forward to a day where we don't have to rebel. You know, most, most of these people here, almost all of them, you know, they're uh, just grandparents and students and, you know, and teachers and doctors. We have doctors for example, and lawyers and accountants and rabbis and Buddhists, you know, vicars, security guards, sorry, you know, um, paramedics that all have to take off time, time away from their family, time away from their work, just to get the government to listen to what the scientists are saying. We still have just the three demands. One, for the government to tell the truth, declare a climate emergency. Two, act now, not later, act now, because there's only now, this is the only time. Act now, go carbon zero by 2025. And three, do it through a citizens assembly. We had those demands already in April, April 2019. And before that, in uh, November 2018, that was after the IPCC report, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, said that we need to make changes to all aspects to avert disaster. So yeah, we are looking forward to the day where all these liberals, instead of spending the energy here, could rather help create amazing communities with climate um, climate emergency centers. You can go and find out with uh, Reclaim the Spaces, what a climate emergency center is. Those will be coming to communities near you. And we don't need a permission from the government to make the world a great place. We can already do that. So uh, just go out, go out into your communities. Go out into nature, go and spend long weekends in nature. Reconnect, reconnect with yourself and others. And for those that are near Parliament Square, Parliament Square later there is going to be a water ceremony. Around two o'clock. So for those just shooting in again the 16th Rebellion and we are in London, um, this is now at Trafalgar Square, you remember the people at Trafalgar last year, if you go on the videos you will see, you know, we have spent so much energy, time and love, you know, telling the world that there's a problem but that there are solutions, you know, and one of the solutions, the crucial solution is a, is a the crucial solution is um, Citizens' Assembly. The Citizens' Assembly is also called for in the Climate and Ecological Emergency Bill. So this is a bill that was tabled in Parliament yesterday. It was tabled in Parliament yesterday, so they don't know about it. They know it is a pathway for the government to get those three demands. So to tell the truth, to go carbon zero, and to do through Citizens' Assembly, so it's a just transition. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of a break, but those at home, make sure you contribute, make sure you help by being a digital rebel. Go to digitalrebellion.uk. So digitalrebellion.uk. Over there you can find out. My name, here is... Um, there's, I'd like to thank everybody that is doing really great today. So you can see there are people, hi. There's still people that don't know about the climate emergency because the government has still not used their power and used their, their influence to tell the people what the client, what the science is saying. So people are willing to be arrested. Yeah.
Yes, this is a carnival of corruption. Thanks for all the solidarity. No. Police are again. These are rebels that are willing to be arrested to draw attention to the climate and ecological emergency. It's not just about global warming, it's also about ecology loss, you know, biodiversity loss. Okay. being arrested because they're refusing to leave. And all we're calling on the government to do is tell the truth, say what the scientists are saying, and create a citizen's assembly that will help us to act now. Back the bill. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Are you okay? You good? Do you want to tell people why you are here? Why are you willing to be arrested? Nothing else has worked in the past. I don't know what else is good for us to do, but to just stand in the way and say, Yeah, we've done the petitions. Thanks, man. Uh, so again, this has come to this, where the government is rather allowing the police to arrest grandparents. Last year, there were grandparents with their children and their children's children. So three generations being arrested on the streets of London in front of... Um, Just asking the government to tell the truth, declare a climate emergency, do what the scientists are saying. That's all. Just listen to the scientists, do what the scientists are saying, and create a citizen's assembly so that it is not forced upon the people, but that it is created by the people. Again, you can go to citizensassemblies.org, go for a representative government. Currently, our government is hijacked by fossil fuel industry and special interests. And again, we encourage you all to feel the grief, feel the emotion. civil disobedience because everything else has failed. The environmental movement has failed. They didn't mean to fail, they tried hard, but they were playing by the rules. And the rules were just not in their favour. And words are not enough, we need actions government. So we're calling on the government to do actions. Look at the climate and ecological emergency bill. You can put it into law in two days. We heard from Sarah London that it only takes two days and that law can be built. Uh, that bill can be made into a law.
yes, uh, someone said get a job indeed, guys. Says, uh, you can come and volunteer, volunteer. You won't get paid, but you can come and volunteer like many of the people here are doing. Because uh, this is what matters. Many people here have quit their full-time jobs. Well, not actually that many, but some of the rebels have quit their full-time jobs. Depending on... Alright, so I'm going to cut the stream for now and we'll get back. Um, someone else going to take over soon. Okay. We are not the news. The news is the climate and ecological emergency. Even that should not be news. Because it's not new. We've known about it. Shell, Shell knew, Exxon knew. The fossil fuel industry knew that the, the practices of burning fossil fuels was damaging. They knew that it was causing global warming, which has led to climate change. Right, someone else is going to take over. You can go to Extinction Rebellion UK or you can go to Extinction Rebellion London. Both of their Facebook pages. So yeah, so uh, we'll be back. Keep, make sure that you push the notification button so you get uh, updated as soon as uh, videos come live. And yes, we're calling for true democracy, for citizens' assembly with this real representation. You can find out about citizens' assemblies at citizensassemblies.org. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for for watching. Yeah, breathe. Still enjoy life. This is uh, this is just temporary. And uh, looking forward to that CEE bill being passed in Parliament, and we can have a nice big party.